How's it going guys? So I wanted to make a quick commentary video about a particular subject. Uh, it's a question I get sometimes, but I know uh, Blender is beginning to get a lot more traction and motion graphics and motion graphic artists are considering the move from say, um, you know, like incorporating Blender into their After Effects workflow or maybe switching from Cinema 4D to Blender. It's like, is it even worth the time? Is it good enough? Does it have the features that I would want? Um, so I'm gonna talk about why I personally love Blender for motion graphics. Um, first and foremost would be the EV render engine. It's, I call it the MoGraph engine personally. It's what I use for every single one of my concert VJ loops. It works, the reflections are nice, the glare, the bloom, the glow, it's beautiful. There's so much with it and it's incredibly quick. It'll get bogged down sometimes if you put too much topology or if you have uh, really heavy node systems for your materials. But other than that, super real time, incredibly fast. Cause especially if you come from something like After Effects where rendering um, say like a, a quick loop, a grid loop or um, text is pretty quick. And so if you move to a photorealistic render engine in Cinema 4D or even Blender, that takes a long time and that kind of cuts into your workflow cause you're, you're used to quick renders. Eevee, incredibly fast, incredibly, incredibly amazing. And I use it more than I use cycles. Also, if you're coming from other things like After Effects, um, keyframes, the uh, dope sheet, all that stuff will kind of come naturally to you. In fact, if you're used to using the graph editor, Blender's version of the graph editor is so much better, in my opinion, better, more user-friendly, more flexible. It just works better. It's thought out better. After Effects has a lot of work to do with the graph editor. I think it's, it's definitely usable. Professionals use it. It can be better, and Blender has it better. I really love it for that. It's also kind of a one-stop shop for everything. If you're trying to render, you need to put together a PNG sequence. It doesn't have ProRes, which I would love to see if Blender can get a ProRes exporter. I understand why they don't have it, but if we're trying to make everyone happy, I think having ProRes in Blender as their exports would be great, but you can export the PNG sequence, run it through something else that can do ProRes, like the uh, media encoder. That's what I always do. Uh, but they do export in tons and tons of formats that work all the time. Like I said, one-stop shop, you have your compositing, you have your color grading, you even have a video editor in Blender. So if you don't wanna pay for Adobe and you don't really know about any other editors, um, Blender has a beefed out editor. So you can edit your clips when you wanna show a client how things look together. You can even do that in Blender as well. It's super awesome. The viewport, especially when Blender 2.8 came out, the viewport is incredible for almost every single workflow from uh, you know sculpting to interior design and, and motion graphics. The viewport is incredible. You can work with it. You can see what's going on. Uh, if you know what I mean by view viewport, also has an incredible outliner. Everything there is much better. They have one of the best viewports of any 3D software at the moment. Blender, their community loves free stuff and they give away a lot of free stuff. There is tons and tons of plugins, or in Blender's case, we call them add-ons. And um, there's so many free add-ons that help you make really, really cool shapes, um, textures, all that stuff comes with Blender that you can get. The community is super generous. It's one thing I really love about it. And on the subject of community, there are, there are already some incredible motion graphic courses, one by Midge Cianave, incredible stuff there. You have one particular plugin called Animation Nodes is incredible. It's just, it's, it's so vast, it's so huge. I haven't touched it myself, but everything I see with the Animation Nodes add-on is just mind-blowing. It's almost like stuff you would see from Houdini, crazy stuff. A couple of downsides I've seen so far in relation to my experience when I did use Cinema 4D, it's not quite as user friendly. The shortcuts, you have to sort of build everything yourself, which of course allows more uh, creativity and customizability. But when you're trying to work really quickly, Blender isn't your best friend if you're used to workflows that Cinema 4D would put out, really quick MoGraph tools. But if you're fine with working, if you're fine with doing the hard work to make something incredible, Blender's the one for you. It's uh, It can definitely be more user friendly, but the fact that it's not, it isn't because they haven't thought about it, it's just the features they make, they want to be as customizable as possible, which gives you endless variety. Now on the subject of motion graphics, if you are already using Blender or getting into Blender and you wanna see, hey, what can I do with motion graphics? Um, again, I mentioned a course, there's also, I released a product today in collaboration with Ezra Cohen. It's a bunch of assets that you can get, look at the project files, you're looking at the trailer for it right now, and I'll play it at the end as well, where you can go in and look at how I made these simple elements that you can add to 
a bunch of different really cool edits, your own stuff, go in there, change the colors, change the lighting. It's pretty simple stuff, but it gives you an incredibly cool result, especially with motion graphics. If you've done it for a while, you know simplicity is key. These are really striking graphics, but they're very simple. And so you can go in there, see how I made them, or you can use the ProRes exports and add them to your edits for concert visuals things like that. That product is available for you right now. You can check it out in the description. That being said, I hope you uh, got some information that you wanted from this video about, you know, is Blender good for motion graphics? My answer is absolutely yes. I use it every day. It's what I do for my job and uh, I totally love it. So thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed it.